Hello, so this is the first time we are using a substrate from Kakila. This substrate is a mixture of peat moss and other components. We are using it to seed our seedlings at this production facility. So as you can see, these are the results of tomatoes after 7 to 10 days in the Kakila compost. The frequency of germination is very high. The plant size is uniform. I have added some basal dressing as Kakila does not contain any nutritive elements. Now the advantage of using Kakila is that because it does not contain any nu nutrition in terms of N, P and K, you can customize what you add to it. The second advantage is Kakila has a very high EC, which means that whatever nutrient you add to the compost will basically reach the plants. This is another example of papaya seeds which have germinated in Kakila. The temperature around here is 30 to 35 degrees and these plants appear to be germinating well. Generally papaya will not germinate when the temperature is too low but they appear to be germinating well. This is another example of compost with Kakila. These are chili plants which have germinated after 10 days in Kekila compost. You can see the germination is uniform and there is almost no wilting at this stage. Working with co uh, cocoa pit or what is known as coconut pit can lead to wilting because the presence of fungi in the compost. However with Kekila until day 14 there is no sign of any kind of fungal infection. This is another example of germinated seeds, the chilies as well, and this is some corn. This one had a low rate of germination because of the seeds and has nothing to do with the compost. So now our next seed bed is ready for loading. And that's about it from Kekila compost. So this is the Kekila professional. We use a, it's designated as substrate. So we hope to get good results with Kekila in the future. Thank you for watching.